Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michaela, and I make adult coloring videos here on this channel. And today I have a very exciting flip through and I guess mini Amazon Japan haul. So I recently placed an Amazon Japan order for some new airy coloring books. If you guys have been around my channel for any length of time, you guys know I really adore Aerie's artwork. It is absolutely stunning. And at the very end of February, she came out with this new book. This is um, according to Google Translate, World Legend Fairy and Magical Land Journey Coloring Book. It gives me really magical vibes. I love it. Um, gives me very fall time vibes. I'll kind of explain that as I'm flipping through. Um, but then I also have three, um, and I think they're the only three, of her tracing books. Um, I really wanted to pick those up. I was only going to grab this book, but then I decided that the shipping was kind of expensive for just one coloring book, so I decided make more out of the shipping and just get more books. Um, so that's what I ended up doing. I got four books here to show you guys and flip through. I do feel like this video is going to be really long, um, so I'm going to just cut to the first book. Okay, so like I said, the first book I have here is her newest. Um, I figure if anyone wants to not watch after this, if they already know the tracing books, they don't have to. I figured I'd start with this one. Like I said, this is World Legend Fairy and Magical Land Journey Coloring Book by Aerie. Her newest book, um, it literally just came out, I believe, February 28th. So very, very recently, um, less than a month ago. And you know what? Let's just dig right in. I am so excited about this book. Um, as all of Aerie's other books, uh, she has thumbnails here of all of the images. It's all written in Japanese, but from what I can gather from her romantic country books that are in English, it's basically just a little snippet of what the page is, kind of like a little backstory behind each page. Um, you could easily just put this into an, a translating app and you would be able to figure out what it's saying. Um, but just these pages and then we get into the gorgeous gorgeous coloring pages oh, this book you guys is so so stunning i am in love with any and all of aries coloring books i think i own all of her normal coloring books now um, i'm also trying to um maybe this won't really crease i'll just do it like this um i think i own all of her actual coloring books at this point um which is awesome so freaking fun. I'm gonna try to flip through this a little little quicker than maybe I normally would just because I have four pretty hefty books to get through. Knowing me I'll still go kind of slow but I think this book is so appropriate for the fall time and just like Halloween season. Look at this. Stunning. Even this. I mean very magical as the title would suggest. Um, another thing I've noticed in this book is that the line work actually seems a little darker um, than her other books, uh, which I love. Yeah, I really love this. Do you guys want to see um, a video of me ranking all of my airy books? Let me know because I have a t I have all of her books. Um, I think that could be a really fun video. Obviously, that might not be for another month or two since I should probably color in all of them before you know gathering my thoughts on what's my favorite. <laughs> but just absolutely stunning. Um, I'd say this is a very typical amount of detail for Aries' work. Um, she tends to make pages a little more on the detailed side. Um, which is very, very fun. Let's see if I can get this part a little bit. There we go. I hate breaking the spine on coloring books because obviously, like, I don't want the pages to begin coming out. The pages in my Beauty of Horror, I think, four um, is coming out, which makes me really sad. So I'm trying to be very careful about how I do that. Also, I hope you guys can see both pages okay. Stunning, 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 stunning. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. Um, I purchased these books. Let's see. I want to say last weekend. It was probably last weekend and I got the books in the mail yesterday. Yesterday was uh, Friday, March 18th. Um, so they came really, really fast, especially considering they were coming from Japan. They come really fast. 
And surprisingly though, this time it did not come from DHL and that's, I feel like where typically all of my overseas orders come from, um, but FedEx delivered it. So it came all in good condition, nothing ripped, broken. I love it. Um, as soon as I bought these books that night, I actually colored a page in the fairy tales book um, because I was super excited in anticipation for these books. And then I remembered, wow, how much I love coloring in her books. Oh, I gotta do it more often. Got a good double page spread. Absolutely stunning. How many times can I say that? A lot, but that's okay. Oh, I just realized, like, she's a mermaid. That's like a whole, like, underwater, like, barber shop. Interesting. Love it. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love that so much. Wow, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be very difficult to pick what I color first. Yeah, I really hope you guys can see both pages okay. Yeah, this is just so gorgeous and the like I said the detail is pretty um, standard I feel like for her art um, but some pages are less detailed than others some are more detailed than others you know typical some of these like inner pages are gonna be kind of hard but that's okay Ooh, that is stunning okay so yeah absolutely amazing book i highly recommend um aries coloring books if you're kind of into the fantasy coloring um she does a lot of fantasy-esque art in my opinion and i really enjoy it i don't know what it is about her work but ever since i saw romantic country um probably was a couple years ago now that i first saw the book i've always loved her art style and also another thing is that she actually draws all of her illustrations with a toothpick so that is why in some of her books, the line um, darkness, the line, yeah, the line darkness always seems very kind of faint. But again, in this book, it feels darker than normal. I don't know. Does anyone else kind of catch that? Or maybe that's just me. I don't know. Wow. That's chaos, but it's fun. Pages I'll probably never do, but I always say I will. <laughs> And then we reach the end of the book. Um, and then I guess these look to be postcards over here um, that you can color and cut out. And yeah, yeah, they're postcards that you can send off. And, and these kind of pages, you could use alcohol markers because they're um, single-sided. Rest of the book, you would not be able to unless you were willing to sacrifice um, an image, but yes. And this is the back of the book. Oh, this was absolutely stunning. If you were just here for the new book, flip through. Thank you for watching. Um, but if you're into the tracing books, let's get into the next one. Okay, so let's get into the first tracing book. Um, this is, according to Google Translate, Throughout the World, The Journey of Twinkle, Tracing Around the World. Okay, whatever that means, it's basically tracing around the world. Let's get in to the pages. Um, I, you know, was always a little bit hesitant about the tracing books, but, oh god, this was probably like six months ago now, probably even more. I saw Emily from Color Me Impressed do a couple pages out of the tracing books, and I was like, whoa, maybe, maybe I would like that. Um, I love that these books kind of have this. It has, um, a step-by-step -step tutorial. Obviously, if you speak Japanese, perfect, then you could maybe read this, but again, you can just put it into Google Translate since, you know, it's not really not really in English, so. But it just gives you step-by-step -step instruction on how you could handle these pages um, using different mediums. You could use literally anything in these books. I don't know how quite yet I'm going to approach the coloring. Um, we'll kind of see, we'll kind of see. But then it looks like, actually I never noticed this, a little table of contents, maybe? I, um, yeah, I think this is a table of contents. This is around the world. 
Okay, they're probably gonna represent like everything. I love this. And I also will say that these books are significantly thicker than her other books, probably because all of the kind of random pages where they teach you things. But we're starting out in Europe. A couple of maps. You, you could honestly like color this in, trace it if you wanted. Oh, I see. These are different maps. I see. Africa, what was the last one? That did not click with me. Um, Europe, Africa, okay. Okay. So, let's get in to the first book, I guess. Um, so the line work in this book is going to be significantly lighter than her other books due to the fact that the point of it is to trace it rather than kind of color it like you normally would, which I think will be a really fun change of pace because I feel like tracing would ultimately take less time than coloring and I actually really enjoy um, like black outlining like in the Disney books. So I think it'll, I mean, it's not the same thing, but like it's tracing, right? So, okay, this might be a little bit better. I apologize for the um, am camera angle change. I tried moving it and just like, be like, oh, I don't have to edit this, and then it like completely flipped, so. Anyways. Yeah, these are so stunning. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Like I said, it's a little light, but Portugal. The Netherlands. And you definitely, if you wanted to, could color this in. I could definitely see it being interesting as well to maybe outline everything in black, kind of like, you know, then it's kind of like a line art page. But the one thing I feel like would maybe happen because this happens in the Disney books is that water-based markers um, against other water-based markers kind of bleed into each other. So I don't know, I don't know truthfully how that would work. But, I mean, I'd be down to try it and turn it into, like, your own coloring book kind of thing once you're done outlining it black. I don't know. I don't know. But, in reality, you could do whatever you want with these. It's your coloring book. Norway, Iceland, Sweden, Finland. Oh, I like this. Very fun Christmas page. Russia. Yeah, super fun. Yeah, Ari is so talented. I guess this book in particular actually came out in 2017 and I did not know that until um, I had it pulled up on Amazon Japan just um, before filming. So yeah, this book came out quite a few years ago, five years ago now. Um, I guess in August, so not quite five, but pretty long time ago I feel like for coloring books um yeah i feel like i own a lot of like newer books i don't know it's really hard to like know because when you start your hobby it's like well i don't really care when it came out like i don't know i feel like i'm just going on a random tangent that no one asked for <laughs> very cute okay and now we are getting into asia also, I don't know what that is, but I'm going to take it out. So more Asia maps. And then we also have Oceana. Okay, and then we get into those pictures. Actually, it kind of would be fun to try outlining it black and then just kind of coloring it in normally. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Thoughts. <laughs> Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I would definitely say that if you have any sort of visual impairment, um, these books might not be the best for you. You'd probably be better off getting like the one I showed you before or any of her other just like normal, dark um, line work books.
Cambodia, Nepal, India. I like that she represents everything in this book. Micronesia. Papua New Guinea, Fiji. Ooh, I like the Fiji one. Also, like, this could be a really fun page to color while I watch Survivor because, like, it takes place in Fiji. I don't know. Australia. I've actually been before. It was a great time. Got the Sydney Opera House. Ooh, so fun. New Zealand. I've always wanted to go to New Zealand. Never have. <laughs> okay, and then we're getting into North America. Yeah, I think this would be really cool to like Google Translate to kind of um, see because it's telling you all of the different places that they're um, naming and what page it's on. Yeah, this is really neat. Okay. USA. Of course, you know, got a football helmet, like quadruple stacked hamburger, <laughs> you know, four scoops of ice cream, like they know us too well. We're fat Americans. What can we do? So. <laughs> okay. Ooh, that's so cute. Oh my God. We got Mexico. Guatemala. Cuba. Dominican Republic. Ecuador. Peru. Oh gosh. Love it. I wonder if they have one of Panama. Who knows? We'll see. Bolivia, Chile, 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 whatever it is. <laughs> Argentina. Now, oh, this is fun. Brazil. Ooh, ooh, Michaela likes that one a lot. Okay. And I guess that was the end of the book. Wow. Okay. I feel like I flipped through the end there pretty fast, but. That is just the back of the book and that is the first tracing book I got. Okay, so next book I have here is just the yellow one and this is Tracing Around the World, A Trip Around the Festival. Um, so I guess it seems like another kind of around the world one, um, but festival more maybe aimed on like, you know what? I really don't know. Let's just get into the flip because I don't even want to guess. <laughs> I haven't really looked super hard at the tracing books um, since I got them yesterday. I've like very quickly flipped through them, but nothing, nothing super crazy. So let's take a look. And like I said, these books are so thick in comparison to her other ones. Oh, maybe it has to do with the different like parties and like holidays and traditions going on throughout the year around the world. That's my guess with this book because it's laid out by months. That is so freaking neat. Okay, this is awesome. I'm excited, okay. So yeah, you just have a layout at the beginning here of all of the months and I don't think this book includes the tutorial like the first one did, so. So this will have a lot of obvious holiday pages, wow. Super duper neat. Alrighty. Um, color testing page, maybe? It's my guess for that. For this, actually, the whole thing, it's probably a color testing page. Oh no! I was wrong. It also includes the um, tutorial at the beginning of here, also. <gasps> you guys? absolutely stunning okay okay oh okay they're showing now examples of different ways these can be colored so cool i will probably never end up doing something like this i can definitely see myself more or less just tracing but oh my god is it very clear i have not flipped through the beginning of this book because i have not <gasps> okay Stunning, stunning. I'm gonna have to go check these people out on Instagram. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys, you guys, I had no idea these were in here. Absolutely stunning. I love that she did this. That is stunning, okay. 
Alrighty. Now, let's enjoy the world's most popular festivals. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what this book is. Alrighty, let's begin the flip. I believe this book came out in 2019, and I think the next one did as well. So. I don't think this is broken up by months. Like, they don't name them, but if you look in the beginning of the book, you can kind of see um, the thumbnails and which month it'll be in. So, in case you're wondering. This would be a really cool book. Um if I had the motivation to complete it to do like all of the January pages in January and just kind of go through this book in order that would be really cool I don't think that is very um feasible <laughs> but you never know honestly I am the queen of saying I'm gonna finish every book in my collection one day you guys know this about me I'm very ambitious if you will but in case you guys were wondering, I am actually getting pretty close um, to finishing, I mean, not really, but I'm on track to finish Chibi Girl's um, Color by Number by Color Questopia, so there's that. <laughs> Gotta do a lot more coloring if I want to finish anything ever. But I feel like that'd be really fun if, you know, you were very motivated to do so. Um, coloring the month's pages in that month. It's kind of similar to Hannah Lynn's, um through the uh, holiday book, you could do something very similar. But obviously two very different books. This is a, I remember this is one of the pages I saw Emily do. Ooh, St. Pa Damn, this would have been really good this week. St. Patrick's Day, I still could do it this month. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I remember her coloring this. And got another random sheet of paper. <laughs> you guys know but why doesn't um airy publish any more of her books on amazon us i feel like she would do really well i feel like people would really like to get these books um i don't know i wonder why she only sells the first two of the romantic country books on amazon us and not the rest do you guys know the reason let me know or any guesses i don't really have a guess truthfully but I'm here for her selling wherever, but it'd be really cool for her to be selling on US Amazon because, again, I feel like her books would do really well. As I know a lot of people really like them. Ooh, I love this. The Jumping Frogs, Ju Jumping Frog Jubilee. I don't know what that is. Yeah, these are absolutely stunning. And please do not take a shot every time I say the word stunning because I've said it at least 10 times in this video so far. <laughs> but it really, like this whole book is absolutely gorgeous. These, all of these books are really gorgeous. I'm really glad I picked them up. <gasps> Ooh, that one's so fun, okay. Got another random slip of paper. Oh, very Alice in Wonderland-esque. Love that. Yeah, I definitely want to do more research on what some of these um, festivities are because they'd be really fun. The paper in these books, really thick, really nice paper. Um, like I said before, I think, you definitely would not be able to use alcohol markers in these books unless you were willing to sacrifice um, another image, um, like the backside image. I am never, ever, ever willing to do that. That's just me. Um, like I said, I have a very unrealistic goal that I will finish every book in my collection one day and I never want to mess up a page because it, you know, yeah. So that's uh, my odd theory, but I would use water-based markers in these books. Um, I'm actually thinking the Ohuhu brush markers, um, the water-based ones that I got for my Disney books, I think would be really fun in here too, because, you know, when you're tracing, it could be kind of fun. You can kind of control the thickness a little bit, um, but any water-based marker will do perfect in these books because they won't bleed through. So anything like the Crayola Super Tips, the Stabler markers, like the dual-ended ones, um, Ohuhu double-sided, um, Water-based markers, Halloween, got that one. <laughs> so 
So anything like that will work in these books. You could use watercolor in these books, I'm sure. I've never tried it out before, um, but I don't see why not. Watercolor works in double-sided books, I believe. Um, colored pencil, obviously, you can use. Um, so yeah, a lot of possibilities. You just unfortunately can't use any alcohol or permanent markers in these books. Yeah, these are really, really, really pretty. We must be getting into like November, December at this point. Mm, actually, no, maybe October still. I don't know. <laughs> no, definitely December. <laughs> Got some Christmas pages here. Yeah, if anyone wants to see like a tracing color in chat, definitely let me know because I feel like that could be really, really, really fun to do. I like that they made sure to include a lot of Christmas um, pages. That'll be really fun in the, in the Christmas time and maybe even July, some nice Christmas in July. Also any time of year because you guys know me, you guys can color anything, any time of year. Okay, and then we have what looks to be little cutouts again that you can color in. Also very fun. And they're single-sided. So this is something you could use alcohol marker on if you wanted. I don't think I would because of the line work being so light. It it would definitely bleed over the lines and I don't think it would look that good, but yes. Very, very fun. They're like cute little pop-out cutouts. I'm not exactly sure what you're supposed to do with them, but yes. That is the yellow book, the Tracing Around the World, A Trip Around the Festival really super duper pretty and let's get into the last book alrighty so we are moving into the last and final book um obviously last and final same thing and this is tracing around the world a journey to enjoy history so I'm just guessing this is a bunch of historical things really fun let's get into this last book yeah, I've really been enjoying flipping these for you guys. Um, I'm really glad I decided to make the purchase and buy. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Are we going kind of into like a timeline kind of? We are definitely doing a timeline. Very fun. Okay, so each of these books has a very different laid out um, table of contents. It's what I've noticed. <laughs> Very fun, again, all in Japanese, as I guess you would expect from a book from Japan. There are a total of 70 pages in this book. Let's travel around the world history. I love that some of it is in English. Interesting, but let's do it. Let's get this a little bit, um, Do you guys ever have problems uncreasing your books? There we go. Or not uncreasing, but I guess kind of uncreasing. I can't English today, you guys. It's just one of those days. Okay, let's get into this. Absolutely stunning. Ooh, shoe collection. Love that. So this book did not come with a step-by-step -step tutorial. Hmm. I wonder why. The other two did. I could kind of see the first one because it was the first one that came out in this series. I could see why that one did. The second one, okay, kind of surprised me it had it, but I don't know why this one wouldn't if the other two do. But that's okay. Ooh, love it. Yeah, I really hope you guys can see this okay. Again, it's it's kind of light, so a little hard to see in general, but I guess in theory I could have turned down the brightness of my lamp. Maybe that would have helped. But at this point, I guess then um, there's no going back. I have already filmed a ton of this. <laughs> Love that draft page. 
and once again, got a lovely little note. <laughs> I actually don't think I looked through this book at all. I'm not remembering any of these pages. Hmm. Yeah, I am so excited to color in these books. I was thinking maybe I'll start a page tonight, but I actually have a buddy color with Cassie that I want to start tonight. Um, we're doing a uh, page out of Villains, the new one of the new um, Disney color by number books, and she actually already did her page. Um, and we're actually zooming tonight and chatting. Um, and I decided for myself that that's the page I'm going to work on, but maybe tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. You know I love the girl playing the piano. Love that. Okay. Ah, yeah, I really like these. Ooh. I wonder if she'll come out with another tracing book in the future. I feel like it's been a couple years since she's put out one. Um, I think this one's from 2019 as well. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not entirely sure, but it's been a while since she's put one out. Maybe her tracing days are over. I don't know. I'm very glad though that she came out with a new, just like coloring book. Super fun. This is Joseph and Eric. Wonder which one's Joseph and which one's Eric. You know what? I'm gonna call him Joseph and the dog is going to be Eric. <laughs> so I definitely hope that me flipping through these books for you guys gave you guys an idea of maybe what you would wanna purchase um, if you were you know, thinking about getting these books. Oh, you guys, look what I found. I found the tutorial. <laughs> okay, the tutorial of this one was at the end of the book. Interesting. <gasps> you guys. <gasps> okay. Absolutely stunning. Okay. And we have more pictures. Wait, I'm so confused. Okay, this is just like, this is chaos. This is again, very beautiful chaos. Okay, and then it looks like more postcards, I believe. Believe, oh, and this is on some thick, thick cardstock. Wow, okay. Hmm. Amazing. This is just the back of the book. I know I flipped through this one I think faster than the other two but I do really hope you guys enjoyed today's flip through if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below um, I have a very exciting video coming into your subscription boxes uh, next week um, it's a vlog I'm really excited um, and yeah I will catch you guys then bye guys